everyone, and welcome back to more Monster Super League on the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, as usual. It is Christmas Eve today, so uh, happy Christmas. Is it Merry Christmas Eve or Happy Christmas Eve? I, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and hop right into Monster Super League. Um, the reason I was uh, going to record this game today is because I wanted to have a bit more of a variety on the channel. Um, and I haven't uploaded this game in a very long time, so uh, that's why I'm hopping right back into it. My voice isn't like isn't back to normal yet because it is still like a little early in the morning um but we should be fine I don't know what that word was but basically what I wanted to uh, go over today um now I don't want to make it like a lesson or like make it boring uh so basically what we're going to be doing is it is technically like um it is technically like a uh guide um but I want to make it an, ex an exciting guide uh, what I mean by that is that we're going to be farming for premium currency, um, and most, and most, if not all games, no, there's got, there's got to be other games, but in most games you cannot farm for the premium currency, and uh, as you can see, this is, this is the premium currency, um, and there's no other way of making it. You can make gold, but you can't make, uh, um, I mean, you can, but this is the premium currency, is what I was trying to say. So, let's hop right into it. Uh, I can get a ticket too. I still haven't got my daily bonus, but. Um, I'm not very active on this game, um, but that's why I want to become more active so that we can uh, have some more fun. So, what we need to start off with is uh, first thing, first things first. You get your, uh, you have your energy, um, and the first thing we have to do is get gold. So, what we're gonna do for that is going go to the dungeon because this is the best place to farm gold. Um, if you farm, you can either farm seven, eight, or nine. They all have the same outcome of uh, like. As you can see, they're all seven energy, meaning you you get the same amount from each one. You just get different gems, if that makes sense. Um, like like the same amounts of gold, but different gems. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the uh, dungeon that has the element that we are good against. So um, you can pick between any one of these to do this. Uh, so if you have a wood team, then and there's a, a water boss, then pick this level. Um, if you have a water team for fire boss, uh, pick that level. And then if you have a fire team for a wood boss pick that level. So we're gonna hop into um, B8 because this is the dungeon that we can actually we're actually pretty good against because we have a full water team against fire. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm not gonna set it on auto 20 battles because I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me have this on auto for 20 minutes. So we're just gonna go through one battle. But if you were farming, you would set it on uh, auto 20. Um, so you can so you can just like go off and do something else like watch videos or something like that or uh, play some other games while this is kind of farming. Um, but first things first, we have to farm some gold. So I'm only gonna do probably like one or two run throughs, uh, so it's not uh, like boring to watch and you don't have to sit here and watch me farm for an hour. Uh, so uh, we're just gonna set an auto and let these uh, astromons go to work. Um, and I'm only gonna do one one through of this uh but that's because I just don't want you guys to sit here for like an hour because you guys probably wouldn't like to just watch these astromons just farm so um this game is very addictive and very fun uh I usually I'm thinking about doing a stream on it that'd be kind of fun um I cuz then if like um because then if you guys are watching the stream and you don't, you, you want to learn something, because I, this is like one of the games that I actually know quite a bit about. Um, there's only a couple games. I know a lot about Pokemon Quest, I know a lot about this game. Um, but with Balloon Seed Battles, uh, I like Balloon Seed Battles playing it on the channel because you guys know a lot more about it than I do. So you can kind of help me and leave comments on what I should do and stuff like that, which you guys have been doing and I love. Um, but with this game, I know a lot about this game, so I can kind of help you guys. So, uh, it works out well. It's kind of balanced. So that's kind of what I was trying to go for. So we're not going to target the boss. We're just going to let these guys uh, do their work. Um, if I target the boss, I'm pretty sure they can one-shot it, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that should go ahead and finish the boss. Um, so that was one run-through. Um, and then usually you get a decent amount of gold, and you get gems that you can sell for gold. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to the next... Uh, we're gonna skip that. So now we got a thousand. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we got a thousand gold and a gem. So what we're gonna do 
Normally, if you were farming, you just auto battle it and use all of your energy on on this dungeon to get as much gold and uh, gems as possible. Um, if you guys would like to see like a full video about me fa just regularly farming, um, I'd be glad to make one. But for today's video, we're just gonna kind of have it short and sweet. So then, what we do is we go to so we just got some gold. So what we do, we go to our monsters. Uh, manage and then we just got this one so what we're gonna do is we are going to I forgot out there we go sell it for eight seven thousand so we just got eight thousand from that one run through which is pretty normal um, and then we go ahead and go over here um, you have to spend more you have to get more energy and spend it on this part so you want to go to normal because it's the cheapest amount of energy and you want to farm slimes um, eh, that's probably the best one um, you you can farm uh, squirrels as well, but uh, slimes have the highest uh, catch rate, which is why you usually farm them. Um, this is probably very confusing to you guys right now, but just stick with me here. So we're gonna take that auto, and we're gonna catch these slimes. Um, and uh, if you hit if you hit uh, ESC, and then did I just break the game? <laughs> um. Well, I may have uh, done something here. Okay, there we go. I don't know what I did there. Um, but there we go. Uh, I have the uh, catch rate. When you go to a certain area, you can upgrade the catch rate. I maxed out the catch rate so that my farming is more efficient. Uh, so it's 95% chance of success to catch this. Um, then I go ahead and hit, hit ESC. Um, I don't know why I can't unpause it with ES. I don't know. Um, but then we go ahead and catch them. We want to use, we want to catch as many as possible during each run. Oh, we have to buy more slots. It's fine though. Um, normally, before you do this, you would also like you should also uh, clear out your slots so you don't have to keep paying for more. Um, but we caught as many as we could, so now we give up. And um, you need about 15, I believe. Uh, so what we do is we have to run through this five times and catch three slimes each time and obviously if we don't catch three slimes each time then we have to go again and catch as many as we need um, but the reason you switch it to normal before you start to um, catch the farm these slimes um, is because it costs two less energy on extreme it costs five on on this map on extreme it costs five and on normal it costs three so I'm fairly sure in the later maps it starts costing more for those but uh, we're not really focusing on that so um, I'm not really sure. You used to be able to just double tap ESC, and uh, the reason I do that, by the way, is because it makes it quicker. As you can see, I'll compare it real quick. Um, so you saw how fast it was before, and then if we just catch it normally, as you can see, it's a lot slower. Um, and when we skip it, it's still a lot slower. So pressing ESC and then just hit continue. Uh, you used to you used to be able to double tap it, but I guess you can't anymore. I'm not really sure why, um, but I don't know. So what we do is we just keep catching slimes, and then uh, you want to double check how many slimes you have because you don't want to. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to catch too many slimes, but for like efficiency purposes, you should probably just catch as many as you need. Um, we're gonna keep going through this. Uh, catching as many as we need. I believe we've caught six so far. Um, so we need to get up to 15. So we need to catch nine more, which means three more runs. Um, and a run is just basically like here. So if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and um, catch those three. Yeah, they did resist. Um, but every time they resist, their catch rate goes up by 20%. So now it's 115%. So there's literally no, wait, is that 100? No, I think it's 110. So now there's literally no chance of uh, that happening. Okay, I need to clear out my slots because I, I don't want to keep buying more. It's not really efficient to keep buying more slots. It's more efficient to just sell other astromods that you don't need. Um, and after you, you evolve them, which I'll show you guys in a minute, um, then you want to get rid of the evolved ones. So now we're gonna go back and check. I believe we caught some earlier in the other episode that I made. So uh, we do have some in the airship as well to collect. Um, but I do believe I caught some other earlier. But that was kind of the gist of it. Just catch those slimes. And once you have 15 slimes, you come back here. Uh, oh, I have a daily quest. I don't really care about that though. Um, and then you scroll all the way down to where these slimes are. 
And uh, I believe we do have 15. 3, 7, 11, 12. We do not. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to release master months that we do not need um, so that we have enough space. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Um, you guys are probably confused on like a lot of what these rainbow things are, like the different uh, uh, elements and stuff like that. Uh, I'll probably go over that in a separate episode. Um, holy gleams are actually really good because they can be used as as any like unit in the game. Like if you had a five star, um, I'll try to find one real quick. Uh, if you it's a nat five uh, is what I'm trying to look for. That's usually what you want to use them on. So find a nat five, hit evolve. Um, and then you need three more to evolve it, but you can just use this gleam as one. I'm not going to use it now, but that's what you can do. So we're going to go ahead and farm, I believe, three or four more. Um, I believe we had 11. I can't remember. But we're going to switch it over to normal. Oh, okay, it's already normal. I kind of want to see if there's a place. Okay, I was seeing if there was a place where there was just like three uh, slimes. So what we do now is uh, as we did before, we just keep farming slimes to get up to 15. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, catch these slimes. Those are like a lot of the abilities I have. Um, there are a lot of the effects that my uh, Astromons give. Um, oh my gosh, the slime resisted. 95% catch rate and the slime resisted. That's kind of interesting. Okay. So, uh, actually, no, we do not want to catch squirrels because, as you can see, squirrels have way, way less chance of uh, success, which is why I, I'm going for slimes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just finish that off. Um, then we're going to go ahead and go over here. I believe if we catch, no, we need to do one more run after this just to get up enough slimes. Um, loading a bit. Okay. So let's catch that slime, and then we need to quit one more time and do one more run, and then catch, we'll probably just use all, we'll catch to like three, or as many as possible, uh, just to make sure we have enough. Um, so what we do is we will go back one more time. This farming par this part is pretty tedious, uh, I will admit. <laughs> um, but it's worth it in the long run. Um, the reason you have to go through all this process or to um, is that it actually is this this was put in the game. It's not like a cheat or a hack or anything. This process was put in the game um, by the developers to legitimately farm premium currency. But the the trick to it is that it takes a really long time. It doesn't take like a but you'd have to farm like constantly to get like it, it's not just something you can do in like five minutes, um, which is the reason that. It, you can farm for premium currency because uh, it takes that long for a reason um, so you can't just easily get premium currency so it makes sense so uh, we're gonna catch one more slime here which should be enough hopefully we can actually catch it um, we should be able to here though uh, it would have been funny if we didn't catch it so we're gonna go ahead and uh, give up and um, that we are nearing the end of this process don't worry <laughs> um, Okay, let's skip all this. Um, we're going to go back to the airship. I'm not really sure how long this video is going to be. It's probably going to be pretty short. Um, just because this is a pretty... I'm just kind of showing the short version. Or like basically what you do with the strategy. I'm not actually going to farm in this episode. But um, this is kind of the... This is what this is what you do. You have to. This is the entire process of getting gems. Uh, or getting the premium currency, so you just have to keep repeating this process, and you'll keep getting more uh, pre premium currency. So, these are called Astro Gems, by the way. That's the premium currency. So we're going to go all the way down here. What we do now is we click on, it doesn't matter which one we click on, Evolution, put three uh, slimes in there. Um, as you can see, we're, we're spending more gold. Um, go ahead and evolve that slime. Um, and then what we do is uh, before you do anything right after this you go back go in here I, th I don't know if this is the right spot to go to um, where hold up I need to remember where this is <laughs> actually so what we're gonna do is um, where is it at hold up oh quest I apologize I completely forgot so you go in challenges and uh, you get this challenge every single time but we involve an astronaut to level 2 evolution 2 so you get 10 gems so collect that that's the premium currency. So then what you do is you go back here. 
Um, you go all the way down again. Actually, what I should probably do is recent. Uh, so I can just go way up here and get these slimes. Click on another one. Do the same process again. Um, and after you evolve one, you do not want to evolve any more or less, or you will be losing gems. Um, so if you do not collect this, and let's say, for example, I evolved another one, then if you went back in here, you'd only get 10 instead of 20. Uh, so you collect that. We go back in here. Evolve it again. Um, like this. We go ahead and do that, skip it, um, go there, we have to go back out again, go over to challenges, collect that again, um, and then evolve the fourth and final one that we need. I don't know if variants are, I don't know if variants give you more gems, they might, I'm not really sure about that, but uh, this is kind of just the strategy I use, and with when you evolve the last one to level 2 you don't have to collect the uh, quest before you do this because it's evolution 3 um, and that was evolution 2 so it doesn't ca it doesn't cancel out the amount of astro gems you get um, so we're gonna go ahead and skip that and what you wanna do is you just wanna release this so then all of those uh, slimes that you just farmed for are gone um, and then you go in here you go to challenges and as you can see, we have 70 more, so collect those two. And now we have 360. So that is pretty much the process of um, everything I just did. You just have to do that and then just keep repeating that process. Um, and it, you will get more gems. And then as you can see, um, if we go into... Where am I trying to go? Okay. So then as you can see, if you go into this, uh, and you can spend... We just made what? Um, 70, 80, 90... I think we made, yeah, we made 100 from that. Um, every time you do the process I just showed you guys, you get 100 gems. Um, so then, now that we got 100 gems, we used what? Um, I Well, I don't want to say, actually, I was going to say we used, like, this much energy. Um, but I did only go through it once, so it wasn't, like, the full farming process. So this wouldn't really matter in this case. Um, but, yeah, that is basically how you farm a uh, Astro Gems in this game or the premium currency. I hope you guys did enjoy. hope it was very exciting and not boring. Um, let me know if you guys would like more uh, videos on this of like guides or just me uh, farming or whatever you guys would like to see. I would love to show you. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see all you beautiful people in the next episode.